you know, the sun came out and it actually felt kind of nice yeah. out there. Yeah. The warm sun on your shoulders when you go outside and a lot of dripping mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. yeah, so here's the problem. On. Temperatures are going to drop below freezing tonight, so any of that dripping could mm -hmm. turn into ice once mm -hmm. again. Not a huge amount of refreezing, but just watch where you step oh, yeah. good out idea. there overnight into tomorrow morning. But the good news is our latest nor'easter has now moved on out. We're clearing out. The snow is melting, and that's the good thing. Maybe the only good thing about March snowstorms is that they don't tend to hang around too long. Even with temperatures below average, we're going to see a pretty quick melt. We'll talk about more of those melting factors in just a minute. Let's start with a look outside right now. We'll take you out to what's going on. We'll start on storm scan three, and you can see not a whole lot happening right now. That system has uh, started to depart. It's circulating across the Canadian Maritime provinces, that being Nova Scotia, New Brunswick there, producing some accumulating snow still, but certainly looks a whole lot quieter than yesterday. That storm really took its time getting out of here, but it finally did, and now we're left with sunshine and dry conditions in its wake, and actually a little warmer today than we anticipated, especially with that fresh new snowpack on the ground. So storm scan three looking clear. Temperatures right now are in the 40s. We're at 48 degrees at the airport, 44 in Redding and in Wilmington, 37 in Mount Pocono. A few spots did make a run toward the 50 degree mark today, and we haven't seen that very often, sadly, here in the month of March. So not a bad day, all things considered. With temps in the upper 40s to near 50, we are seeing that snow melt pretty quickly. What to expect tonight? Lows back to the 20s, 29 in the city, mid 20s across the suburbs, so some refreezing is possible. Any of that melted snow from today will likely refreeze in spots tonight. It's not going to be all over the place, but certainly something to keep an eye on. There will be a chilly breeze till tonight and partly cloudy skies. Moving forward in time on future weather here, you can see as we go through tomorrow, everything is relatively quiet headed into your Saturday. We've got quiet conditions as well. I want to draw your attention here to the bottom of the screen as a system starts to move by to the south. Now, this is something we had been keeping an eye on for the weekend. Would it move far enough north to brush the southern parts of our area with a wintry mix? Doesn't look like it's going to. As you can see, it looks like most of that system will miss us to the south. And then Sunday, just a few more clouds, almost a little backdoor cool front trying to edge in here off the ocean. That'll bring us a few more clouds and again, a chilly breeze. But all in all, the weekend looks quiet. So let's talk about the snow melt. In March, we tend to see the snow melt more quickly, of course, than in January or February. One interesting thing is dirty snow melts faster, so that gray slushy snow actually melts quicker than white snow. It absorbs more heat and melts quicker in March because of that higher, stronger sun angle. Wind and humidity also play into how quickly the snow will melt and that diurnal freeze thaw cycle, meaning if temps drop below freezing at night, it'll slow down the melting rate. If you keep temperatures above freezing at night, we'll start to see that snow melt a little more quickly. But generally speaking, if we get temperatures in the 40s and 50s, within the course of a week, a big chunk of that snowpack will be melted as long as you don't add anything to it. And here's the good news. It doesn't look like we're going to. You can see as we go through the next few days, it's pretty quiet. Stray flurry or snow shower to the north tomorrow. Chilly through the weekend, but then next week temps back into the 40s and 50s. And our next chance for precipitation comes in the form of rain next Wednesday. Mm. Rain. Oh, rain. rain. All right. Thanks.